Hi everybody, it's Rachel here from Scrappy Happy here on YouTube and I also go by the same name, Scrappy Happy, over on Instagram. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Let's Get Crafty. Today's video is a project share video where I'm showing all the DIY embellishments I have created using my Cricut, my die cuts, and my doodle stamps that came with the Doodle Bug Fairy Garden Spring Collection for 2021. I have a uh, haul video where I showcase all the things that I bought and my goal with this paper collection was to use it. When I bought the Fairy Garden, not the Fairy Garden, the Pumpkin Spice Collection back in the fall, I, for one reason or other, didn't create with it um, as much as I'd like to and now it's being saved for next fall. So my goal was to get started with this collection and start creating things. So believe it or not, I've had these... Uh, DIY embellishments for quite a while because these were what I started using and creating with at the start after I got my project because you can just take a few uh, six by six paper sheets and some other papers cardstock that match your co collection and you pull everything and you can start creating with it and then using your doodle stamps and you're not even using any odds and ends and ephemera and it helps you get excited about your paper collection uh, Christian from Christian's Crafty Adventure calls it a collection starter. So this was my collection starter that I just have all in the tray and it's taken me some time to film this video for one reason or another. I had some ideas for some other embellishments but if I do end up creating those I'll just post another video because you can see this bin is totally and completely full. So I'm going to just showcase um, the projects that I created with this. So this one, uh, I made a set of four of these, and this was made, if you uh, watch Christian and I on Wednesday nights at 9.30 Pacific Standard Time, I made this during our late night crafts and laughs over on Instagram. We host a live every week together where we're creating different projects, and so this um, cup was made with that, and then I have these... Um, watering cans. Uh, I try to include a sentiment on each project. This is actually from the odds and ends set. So some of them are using odds and ends. This teacup was cut out with my silhouette. Another watering can, a different style. And I did try, <coughs> excuse me, I did try to do, put some highlighting on it to see how that goes. So again, just using things from my stash. And it's amazing when you have those stamped images, how far you're able to make this collection stretch. So I'm thinking these are going to look cute on handmade cards. Here's another cup. These are this this these ones here are my favorite. I just like how the paper coordinated and this is my favorite stamp. So I have a lot of images with her. And then these are one of my favorite embellishments that I made. So I, the bumblebee is just so cute and with my Cricut I had a bumble beehive pattern and I just thought it worked great with this beehive paper that came with the 6x6 pad. I thought that size and scale was a little bit so I have six of those that I made and then these ones are fun. Um, this was made with a felty heart that Christian sent me last year when we first connected when she sent me some happy mail and so I've had these in my stash since last year and saving it for just the right project so these felties you could put a little what do you call those things jump rings in there and then you can use it as a dangle from a purse or on a traveler's notebook or on a folio I mean there's lots of different possibilities so there was quite a few hearts in that collection so here's another style of cup and then sometimes, you know, it's hard to decide which pattern paper you're going to use. Again, my favorite coffee cups. And then the tea cups, because this would be just so fun to have for a garden party theme or an invitation. Uh, looks like I'm missing the, the jemmy from there. So I used all these hearts now. So I'm going to turn them into some sort of a charm. And uh, my goal is to get some of the filler because I believe she just used her die cutting machine cut with her felt and glued. There's no sewing involved. So uh, 
I think those come quickly together. And then my other favorite embellishment are these ones here. These are inspired from the collection, the glow bugs. They're just so darn cute. I cut these mason jars out from my Cricut and then just added a little bit of gold sparkle. I didn't have any clear stickle color, so I just used what I had in my stash. I'm trying not to buy a whole bunch, and I noticed that the glow bug fell off of there, so I'm going to have to fix that. For the longest time, it was over here on my shelf but it's disappeared somewhere so here's another embellishment another beehive I had six of those beehives and another pennant another pennant another um, felty and use that as a charm another pennant those work great on cards another coffee cup a pennant, another mason jar, a pennant, oops, and another pennant, and a coffee cup, and one last coffee cup with the cute little ladybug on it. So look at this for my stash. It's unbelievable. I can't believe how many I was able to create. I haven't counted um, to see how much I had. But this is going to be great to now use with some of the other projects that I have created. So I do have a playlist and I'll link that down below of all the projects that I'm, I have made so far to date with the Fairy Garden Collection. Now it is starting to run out a little bit. So I think uh, we're getting close to having it all used up. And I would say this is the first time I've ever bought a brand new collection like that and used it. And I'm telling you. It feels wonderful because you're so excited about the project. And then you'll see in some other videos how you can take these same stamps and color them with a different paper collection and they still look amazing. So thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Let's Get Crafty. We'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful crafty day. Bye.